Welcome Pisces Aries to your beginning of November reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on with you for November. Pisces Aries. Remember, guys, if this doesn't resonate with you, please go watch your rising moon or Venus signs. Um, see if they resonate. I wish it could resonate with everyone, but it cannot. Since it's a general reading. Paste these areas. Feels like one more, guys. Yeah, there it is. I have a death card upside down. Okay. Could be a back to the basics for you, feeling like you're going backwards, having to do something all over again. Let's see. Let's clarify on that first before we really get there. It really feels like back to the basics, but kind of like letting go of one thing so that you can go back to the basics for something else. Yeah, and it feels like this is going, yeah, this is going to make you rejoice in celebration. Um, so you're going to have to go backwards to come forwards. It kind of feels like that energy, that's how you're feeling um, for a lot of you. Or that is exactly just what's going on within your life, right? <clears throat> Take it how it resonates. Could be dealing with a Scorpio as well. Okay. Getting straight into the situation, the situation is going to be the present, near future, and the near past. Remember that the resonating card here is also going to clarify on the entire reading. I'm sorry, the clarifying card. <laughs> I haven't got to the resonating part, right? Not yet. <clears throat> the clarifying card. Okay. We have the material harvest coming up in the present with the deception and the upside down. Oh, nice. So that's probably why, you know, you have the sacrifice coming up in the near past with the power in the near future. Wow. Okay. So you had to sacrifice something and that's how it feels, right? The sacrifice card is a fool card. So you had to make this leap of faith through sacrifice. So I always see this card as the death card with the fool card. Um, why? Because you have to sacrifice something. You have to let go of something um, to be able to take that leap of faith. Okay, so, yep. And it also could be seen as the hangman as well. Um, yeah, because you have to think of it this way too, because you have to get down within your intuition to be able to do something. So, <clears throat> So it definitely can be the hangman, the fool, and the death card all together. Um, because this card says, guys, it says the powerful achievements are usually born as a result of great sacrifice. This card represents self-sacrifice and a time when you should look around your life to see what needs to be realized. So there you have that hangman hanging around, trying to figure out things, meditating, not really taking any action at that time while you're looking around, right? kind of stuck. Um, but by surrendering and letting go, that would be that death card, right? So coming in, there will be more room to receive the rewards for this transformation, wisdom, gratitude, and enlightenment. Okay. So then it says this card signifies that there is a situation happening or about to occur in your life that you, you can't control the outcome. This would be a great moment of pause, rest, have patience, reflect. Once again, there's that hangman coming in. Um, <clears throat> it would be wise to stand back so that you can learn to take advance with the most understanding, intuitive eye. The sacrifice card then symbolizes a period of transition and change. Once again, that death coming in. The solutions you may seek may be slow in coming. It could be necessary to live into the answers. Accept things that you can't control, heal and leave the past behind, move 
toward your future and watch for new doors opening and paths that are being shown to you. So then all of a sudden you're going to have this kind of leap of faith in its own way, right? Because now you're going to self-sacrifice by just allowing it to surrender. So that's why I always say, yes, it is considered more of a hangman death card, but I also can see kind of the fool coming into it by saying, well, if I move towards this and towards your future, then you can watch these new doors opening by having this self-sacrifice. Okay, so, so I do feel like, you know, you're going to have to do this foolish kind of thing, right? By letting it go, moving forward, but also having to meditate and realizing this is how things are going to have to happen. And it could be with this King of Cups. Well, <clears throat> that is you, Pisces, right? That's the Pisces side of Aries. That's you coming through saying, I don't feel good. I'm going to let this go. I'm going to just watch these new doors kind of open. And when it feels like the time is right, I'm going to leap right through them. But problem is, right? Problem is, what are you self-sacrificing? Whatever it was, it wasn't making you happy to have to do so. It was more like, almost like I said, a made to do thing. There was nothing you can do to control the outcome. Okay, so if you can't control that outcome, then it's just gonna do what it's gonna do. With the Queen of Pentacles, you guys could have been dealing with a Capricorn. Um, of course, it's, you know, or in a Taurus or a Virgo, but this is the Capricorn card. So now you could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Capricorn, Earth sign, Water sign. Okay. And yes, however it is though, by doing whatever you're doing and letting this go, it's going to bring more prosperity to you. Okay, you might not see it, but here's that rejoice and celebration. You may have not seen it at first, but you knew in the end, um, in the past, that by doing so, it did bring more prosperity to you. It's like, I don't really feel good, but whoa, look what just happened. It opened those doors to more opportunities, more options. And, you know, with the self-sacrifice card, it's like you knew deep down inside that it probably would. That's why you, you did it. Um, you allowed it to 100% go through because there was nothing else you could do um, but self-sacrifice. Probably this Capricorn or Scorpio. So this person we're just going to say because it could be anybody. But it did open new doorways and it brought in so much more material harvest and you, it feels to me like you're like back to the basics. I had to let this go. Um, you might even be thinking about letting more go for more happiness because over here in the past, you got happiness with these options and opportunities. Um, so you might be thinking about even releasing more. Hey, you know what? I released this. Let's see how much more I can release this garbage that I don't need anymore. What's clutter in the house? Um, and it, that's what it could be, too, with the Queen of Pentacles. It could just be home-based, right? Maybe you're decluttering, bringing more options, um, more cleansiness to the home, getting rid of things that, you know, is not needed. So you have the material harvest over here, reaping what you sow. You have the Three of Pentacles coming up. This is great success and great growth. Um, and like I said, if you're just decluttering things out of the home, it's bringing in more space for you right? So that you feel more comfortable. Um, you might even have somebody collaborating with you um, to declutter or get rid of these things that no longer suit you. Um, and then for some of you, like I said, you had to let someone go for successful reasons. Maybe they were holding you back from your success. Maybe you guys couldn't get along and it felt like, you know, <laughs> All this fighting is not helping me get to where I need to be. So your material harvest over here is allowing you to continue with the manifesting and law and attracting. Back to the basics, 10 of pentacles. Yeah, whatever it was, you didn't feel any achievements. This is why you are going after what is achievable for you. Yeah, more focused on it. There could have been some deception and envy going on 
now that we have this this thing over here um, was the queen of pentacles or or this scorpio take it how it resonates were they just deceiving you this whole time um where's the deception and evie coming from was it you know what is going on with this why is that there right were they holding you back with lies were they holding you back with contempt were they holding you back with things you know was it their clutter and you're getting rid of their clutter um, and they're deceiving you telling you that they're throwing things away and they're not so you decided to get in there and do it yourself um, could be any of the above right <clears throat> so it's uh it's like it says it says individuals or conditions aren't what they appear to be how well do you really know the people around you are they telling you everything you need to know in business make sure you gather all the necessary information so that you're aware of and understand all the facts before continuing <clears throat> right here you've worked hard don't let others take from you what is rightfully yours unfortunately some people may be envious of your accomplishments I feel like something has happened to where maybe they, you know, were taking from you or telling you I'm doing this and I'm doing that and you're decluttering um, either them or their garbage, right? I said, somebody hoarding around you. I, I kind of feel like that too, Pisces Aries. Is someone hoarding around you and they keep telling you they're throwing this stuff away and you just keep seeing it piled up um, in the garage, right, in a corner? Um, they haven't thrown nothing away. seems like uh, if you've been throwing things away, how come the the clutter in the garage, is, that pile seems to get bigger and bigger and bigger, right? And then for others of you, it, maybe it was their lies keep getting bigger, bigger, and bigger. Um, you know, and so now you're getting rid of that. Take that how it resonates. But you're getting past this. It's like it's over. I'm I'm done. That's why it's kind of like back to the basics. I'm done. I feel my happiness. Now that this is done, yes, I don't have to be depressed anymore. I don't have to listen to the disappointments. I don't have to see the disappointments, hear them. However, with King of Pentacles, yes, definitely whoever it is, definitely dealing with a earth sign. If this is a person, you do not have to deal with their deception, um, them making you disappointed all the time. Okay. You can now just get on with your life and do the things you need to do. No more secrets. No more secrets of the King of Pentacles. Could be definitely dealing with a Taurus. No more secrets. No more disappointments. No more deception. I totally realize what you've done. Um, I can move past this. Um, I've done that by letting that, letting you go. Um, Or letting your stuff go. I still feel like somebody out there is like dealing with their stuff. <clears throat> the hoarding issue. <clears throat> it's not going to be for everybody, but I do feel that. Determined with the Ten of Pentacles to continue to keep manifesting and keep going. And that's where this, that's where that material harvest is coming from. I'm just going to continue to take action and do the things that I want. I'm tired of my Ten of Pentacles being upside down. You know, I can see what's going on with the Three of Pentacles. I have the success and growth coming. So over here in the power, man, you're happy, right? Rejoice, celebration, um, the joy over here, and then the joy over here. And now we have the joy coming over here with the Three, harmony, causing so much more harmony. So wherever you felt like you had disharmony, you now feel the harmony. Okay, so... Oh, yes, you're taking your power back. You feel the faith within yourself that this could be great things. You might even have a new relationship coming up in the near future with a Leo. And maybe you already knew this, right? It's definitely a Leo for some of you. <clears throat> Doesn't have to be, but whatever it is, this relationship is way better. Um, if it's the same relationship with the person over here who's just... Um, Hoarding things, your like your relationship is getting back on top because now you're not listening to them and their secrets and all that. If you didn't, you know, if you would just let, you just threw away their trash, 
right? They're hoarding whatever they, whatever you felt, right? That it was trash. They don't have to think it's trash. They could think it was something from childhood or something, but whatever it was, it was too much. Um, but for those of you who are staying in this relationship, the relationship has made a 360, 100 with the sun. Okay. So if you're getting back to the basics with this relationship, it's going to have a huge turnaround and it's showing that Taurus. That's why I'm saying, well, maybe for some of you, you're going to have this 360. Their attitude is going to change. You, your relationship is going to grow where it was um, sliding backwards before is now growing very beautifully. I do feel like the red flags, though, are still in there. Like, I still have to watch them, though, because um, maybe they do have a hoarding problem. Um, they like to hold on to things. Um, and then for others of you, you have a new relationship. You let go of this person who these secrets and these types of things were uh, more unacceptable than, than just small little things. Um, and you have a new relationship. And then others of you, it's just becoming more faithful within yourself, getting yourself on track. But for a lot of you, it does look like a new relationship or a better relationship status. Um, yeah, you put an end and you have a new chapter. You have walked through that old chapter. You put it into this chapter and have a new chapter coming in. World upside down is saying you've separated yourself from the old world straight into this beautiful sunny world. Um, yep, walking away from that Eight of Cups. You don't have to look back at that anymore. That's done and over with, and you do feel like it is 100% um, over. Whether you uh, and your partner have worked through this or you have gained a new partner, King of Swords, the truth of the matter is that you're finding somebody who's Mr. or Mrs. Right, maybe this person over here, now that they've gotten all better, they can be the person that you want them to be without all of the stuff. I just keep hearing stuff. They have stuff. They have a lot of stuff. <clears throat> and then for others of you, you have met Mr. or Mrs. Wright, and you feel like this connection is a little bit better than this one because you don't have to sit over here and watch the red flags um, with this new person. Be dealing with an Aquarius. Yeah, I've got Aquarius twice. So it could be Aquarius coming in over here for you, Pisces, Aries. And yeah, you don't feel like this person gives you any confusion. There's no confusion to this. I almost feel like at one time um, before you did this self-sacrifice, um, this card was upside down with confusion. And you've turned it right side up by taking the self-sacrifice. <clears throat> Yeah, and you feel like there's no devil energy anymore. There's no um, deceit. There's no lies. There's no toxicity. There's no, you know, anything holding you back. Okay, so yeah, everything's going the way you need it to go. How beautiful is that? So take that, how that resonates. Got like three different stories going on there. And for those of you who say oh, there's nobody coming in for me, it just shows um, that you are just very happy. Okay, it could just be you very happy alone. Um, but you know what? For a lot of you, I just don't see you being alone very long. There is somebody else coming in, whether it's an Aquarius or a, or a Leo. And if it's not Leo, it's definitely fire. Romance. Yeah, this has more to do with romance than it has to do with anything. So whether or not, yeah, it's it's just is. I'm just going to leave it there. In the near future, everything will be fine and there will be a recovery. A recovery of everything going back the way it's supposed to be. Well, we already see that though. We see that with the world in reverse, with the Eight of Cups, with the sun, so. Yeah. Let's see, it's romance. This is all romance, so. 
For some of you, it could be just decluttering your garage and getting rid of and throwing away stuff that you don't need anymore, but for the majority of you, there is another person involved somehow or another. This one says retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Heart-to-heart -heart conversation. That's probably about all of this over here. Pay attention to the red flags. <laughs> Give your relationship a chance. Wedding. Some of you are new couples. Maybe that's where this marriage is coming through. Uh, this higher friend is coming through. Maybe this is you guys are newlyweds um, and now trying to figure things out together. Whoa. Yeah, engagement. Yeah, for a lot of you, you're going to keep, you're staying with this partner. You're just trying to learn. Maybe you're trying to move in together, getting ready to get married or just got married, moving in, and they want to hold on to all this stuff. And you're like, hey, hello. And they're sitting over here saying, but I did get rid of that. And then they didn't. Okay, something like that. We have passion and calling in a soulmate and then soulmate again. So, and then for some of you, it was a separation and you're calling in a soulmate and let your friends help you. So maybe this isn't for some of you, this isn't so much a new relationship. Maybe this is a friend coming in to help you as well. And it could be two in one because I also have the attraction card down at the bottom of the thing. So maybe it's a friend who comes in that you're actually attracted to, or they're attracted to you. Okay. So. Okay, my friends, and that was it for you. And until next time, peace and love, my friends. Bye-bye.